Right now, NASA has or is participating in six active missions to Mars. It's planning to launch another this summer, and it's looking to hire someone to oversee a new program that's planned for the years ahead. The Mars Sample Return Mission would have the goal of bringing Martian rock and soil back to Earth, and its director could make up to $188,000 a year. But some scientists are concerned that the budget for that mission could be impacted by the cost of this summer's project. At almost $2.5 billion, the Mars 2020 rover is one of NASA's costliest exploration missions. I'm here inside the clean room at JPL, and behind me, arguably the most tricked out vehicle in the solar system, the Mars 2020. 20 rover. Among the new features on this rover, the terrain relative navigation, if you see that sort of red triangle, a camera in there is going to be taking images of Mars as it parachutes down into a crater. And why this is important is this camera is going to match images taken from the orbit, and that way they can make much more daring landings, such as in a crater, before they always had the safest bet, a nice flat surface. This will also allow them to avoid hazards, such as a rock outcropping or something else that might endanger the landing of any vehicles. Also, as we look at this vehicle, it'll take some 300 scientists to operate it. You can't see this well, but back down there in the body, MOXIE, why MOXIE is important is it will try to convert this Martian atmosphere into oxygen and down the road, if we're going to put men on Mars and women, we're going to need the ability to convert the Martian atmosphere into breathable oxygen. They can't haul all that oxygen with them, so that's where MOXIE comes in and, as we said, converts it to breathable air. 